Evening everyone, I'm Adrian Ochoa with your look at sports. It was perhaps the worst kept secret this week, but the WAC made it official today. It's welcoming five new schools to the conference, and it's also returning to football. Now, there's a lot to unpack in this, so let's break it down, and I'll tell you what this means for the NMSU Aggies. First, who's joining the conference? Well, you can call this the Texas Exodus. Stephen F. Austin, Sam Houston State, Lamar, and Abilene Christian are all leaving the Southland Conference to join the WAC. Now that, that goes into effect later this year. In 2022, they'll be joined by Southern Utah from the Big Sky Conference. So for the 2022-23 season, the WAC will look like this. A 13-team conference that will be broken up into two divisions. All the Texas schools you see on the bottom right of the screen will make up one six-team division. The other seven teams, that includes NMSU, Grand Canyon, and Seattle, will make up the other division. Now, which works out great because at least it ensures the Aggies play the Antelopes every year, but this also creates a much tougher path for NMSU to get to the NCAA tournament. NMSU has been dominant in the WAC eight NCAA tournament appearances since 2010, but now it has some tough competition. For example, Stephen F. Austin has made it to the dance as well and has even pulled off some upsets in recent years. For NMSU Athletic Director Mario Mocha, today's news was great for providing stability for the conference and they welcome the challenge. You know, number one, uh, would never want to shy away from competition. I think competitors want to play uh, against the, the best competition they can play. Uh, we've never considered uh, our ticket automatically stamped. We've had uh, WAC conference final games that have been very competitive. Uh, but yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to force us too to go back and look at ourselves and, hey, what can we do to stay on top? You know, that's, that, that's, that's part of the deal. The WAC also announced its return to football, albeit FCS football. NMSU competes as, at its, as an independent at the FBS level. That's the highest level in college football. So the Aggies won't be joining the WAC for that particular sport. So this has potential, though, for opportunities for the Aggies down the road. Schools joining the WAC in football could one day want to make the move to FBS. And if the WAC one day transitions to the FBS, the Aggies will finally have a home for football. Uh, that could be very beneficial for New Mexico State because that might be an opportunity uh, for us to get into an FBS conference, one that we make on our own at the WAC versus waiting to be invited, you know, and, and nobody knows if you're ever going to get invited. And you may have noticed on that map I showed earlier, Chicago State wasn't on it because they announced today they'll be leaving the WAC in 2022. 